This is Extreme Makeover. Between them, Franny, Jenny, and Katie can fix just about anything, except their looks. We are very outgoing, and we feel like we're just beautiful, and then we look in the mirror, and we're like, whoa! Not very pretty. We all have pretty big noses, and I think our dad would forgive us, probably, if we got rid of the lent nose. Also, I'm, we're very busty, as you can tell, and, and with age, that doesn't turn so well. <laughs> And then, of course, all the sisters together, we all have this, we're the gobble girls. And, oh lordy, it's not good. My worst thing that I hate is my teeth. And I haven't smiled in 20 years. I've had three people in my lifetime call me Dracula, or Catwoman. And look at the thing on that cat. Every time I smile, she it sticks right out. Our skin in our family has no elasticity at all. Like, I have a hangover. Gravity's just, you know, getting us all in. Our stomachs are horrible from having kids. If we had the extreme makeover, what would be the but first thing we'd do? The single screws! <laughs> Cheers! What they lack in beauty, they make up for in bubbles. Pure effervescence. And we get a lot of attention because we're loud, not because we're beautiful. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to maybe meet somebody again now because of that, yeah. because you'd feel more like we could. But it's, you get to the point of where you close yourself off. And so we flew the sisters from Phoenix to L.A. Three sisters. Jennifer, come on this way. One surgeon, Dr. Garth Fisher. With Fran, Katie, and Jenny, you can tell they're sisters because they have a lot of the same problems and really need pretty much most of the same procedures. Bags in my eyes and nose. It's too long. I think my nose is too long. We've got this like nose is just way out there. They all look a little tired. What I'd like to do is bring this brow up about this high. They need some work to enhance their eyes. I don't know if I want to be a C or just an uplift. Pretty cleavage again. They all want to have their breasts lifted, uh, reduced. The incisions go around the nipple, down in front of the breast, and in the crease in this case. And that's where your scars will be. They're I'm all... a good healer. You're a good healer. And they've got a lot of extra skin in their stomach. That's probably the reason why I'm single. <laughs> A gobbler. Okay. And we all have the. Okay. And I'd love to have that moved up and it's all. They all need work in the neck region. That's where I'm going to earn my, my time and money. For baby so, sister Franny, the metal well, worker. See, what I'm looking at the imager is in your neck, you've got a lot of extra fat and skin. We Dr. Fisher's computer blowtorch melts away imperfections. Might look like with this. My gosh, look at that. You wish it was that easy, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, is it done? Whoa. You can see how much of a change. Uh, and Jenny, the oldest. Oh my God, I'm like 15 years younger already. Hopes her miner's face will go from drab to glittering gold. My sisters and I are all single. Dating wise, of course it gives you a lot more options. <laughs> Katie in the middle hopes Dr. Fisher alters her features like she hangs wallpaper seamlessly. Would you be happy if we could get to this point in the operating room? I'll wallpaper your office for free. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to have a different life. I love you. They just have the greatest personalities, so I'm hoping that we can uh, kind of get them where they look like they feel. Dr. Fisher has his work cut out for him. Three faces, three necks, three tummies, a triple play. After a month in L.A., the Gobble Girls are ready for their first day of surgery. <laughs> the baby gets to go first. And Dr. Fisher will operate for three consecutive days, a Gobble Girl a day. Uh, and we're not going to see this again. <laughs> first, Franny, the baby sister. <laughs> Thanks for being we here. wish we could stay and watch it, actually. No, I, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> so lucky that I have you guys here. I love you, Fran. Bye-bye. Go, go. For the three sisters, sister surgery. All three will undergo the same procedures. Degobbled with a neck lift, debeaked with a nose job, defrowned with a brow lift and upper and lower eyelid lift, delighted with a breast lift and reduction, and a tummy tuck and stunning smile. And after being deveined, the gobbles will be divine. Now the hard part is your nose. So we're gonna try to work this down and make it look nice and feminine. Dr. Fisher completes the procedures that Fran's sisters will also receive, including later surgery for a flatter tummy and firmer breasts. That means a lift and, for the first time on Extreme Makeover, a breast reduction. She's a double D and we wanna bring her to a C or a D cup and we're going to reduce the size of the breast, lift them so they have a better shape, better placement, and uh, make her a real nipple smaller and a better location, too. All the sisters have kind of the same problems, just different variations, different degrees. 
With surgery over, Jenny, the oldest, is there for her baby sister. You look like you did 20 years ago. <laughs> but what she really sees in Franny's face goes unspoken. Franny doesn't even look like Franny anymore. I can't tell what she looks like yet, but right now it's not my sister. It's difficult to look at her. But you're still going to be my sister, even if you're pretty. <laughs> yes, I know. Katie undergoes the same surgeries as her younger sister. Well, the second gobble's gone. We, we had to look hard, but we found your neck in there. <laughs> I love you, Dr. Fisher. Oh! I was sick to my stomach last night from seeing my sisters. I, did, I just... That's monstrous looking, you know, it really is. Are you nervous? I'm a little more nervous. No, I haven't felt well the last couple of days. You're still ready to go forward? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. For Dr. Fisher, it's a little like Groundhog Day. It'll be quite some time before I find three sisters like that again. The third straight day, he has performed almost identical procedures. It's an exhausting experience, these three girls. Um, but I think they're going to look really wonderful. It's been a long three days. Jenny comes home, her two younger sisters sharing the journey I got you. and the pain. You're too long. Uh, <laughs> it's really tough to see my sisters hurt. It hurts us all. Thank you, guys, a lot. As they recover together, the sisters' pain will subside. And within a week, dramatic body changes will emerge. I can't wait to compare our noses to each other. Well, I have no clue what's underneath there, and I know, I know it's better. My sisters and I have been waiting, and we haven't cheated at all because we wanted to see it all together. The first focus, Jenny's neck. So let's take a look. Well, you don't have a gobble anymore. That's I great. Know. It's gone. I Remember it. Jenny's waddle? Whooshed away, just like the computer predicted. I really can't tell you how thrilled I am. Unbelievable. You gotta throw the turtlenecks away. Look at Katie, just a month ago. I have a widow's peak now. <laughs> Remarkable, only a week after surgery. This was Franny then. Oh my gosh, I, I've never had a nose that thin. Look how narrow and pretty. Thing. What transformations already. <laughs> Beauty that will become even more breathtaking in the weeks to come. Oh my God. Yeah, there's another gobble that's gone right there. Yay, gobble goodbye, gone. gobble. The girls get to see their new breasts and bellies. Katie, how are you? Great, I'm checking out my new body. Let me take a look and see how you're young. Wow, that's great. <laughs> I think breast reduction surgery is one of the most liberating procedures that we do because, you know, the breasts are so much smaller that, that socially and physically patients feel like they're able to do a lot more. I love them. I show them to everybody. <laughs> and uh, they don't feel as handicapped and, you know, just feel free. And so I think they're going to gain a lot from that procedure as well as the tummy tuck. Your tummy is very flat. <laughs> That's sick. I can't believe that. Hey, gosh, your waistline is really has, has gone in a lot, hasn't it? Well, I didn't even know I could have a waistline like this. I thought, didn't know it was possible. Well, let me tell you, I was the most modest person in the world, and now I don't mind walking around naked in front of anybody. <laughs> You out. It's been over six weeks since surgery. Unlike two months ago, the girls now feel good about showing off their new bodies and the journey they've taken together. It's been a tremendous experience, sister-wise. It's made us closer than ever before. It's almost like we do feel like triplets now. It's almost scary after we've been trapped in a room together for three months, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When we first came out, all of us have a tough girl image. We also do men's jobs. I want so much now to be feminine our feminine side so much stronger than it was. I can't wait to start dating again. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get a few romances out of this. <laughs> and I can't wait. They still dream about a fantasy voyage. As soon as me and my sisters can do that, we're going to go on a singles cruise. Shoot, I got this second chance in life. I'm not going to pass up any opportunity anymore. <laughs> Today, it's Bon Voyage for the sisters. First, their grand reveal, and then the cruise they dreamed of for years. We've brought in 80 family and friends from across the country to see their remarkable transformations. We are so thrilled for each other. I love them so much. I miss them terribly. I don't have any idea what they look like, but I think we're going to all flip out. 
You guys, I'm gonna present to you the most glittering, golden, gorgeous, and hot, Jenny Martinson. I didn't expect to cry, and I totally cried when she came out. She looks like she'd be my sister. <laughs> she was gorgeous. She looked happy, and that's how I like to see my mother. Oh, my God. You look gorgeous, Jenny. I think it's just beginning to hit me that it's actually, like, real. I have a new life. I have a smile in my heart. Here's what Jenny received. She struck gold with a nose job, brow lift, upper and lower eyelid lift, and a facelift. The wattle went away with a neck lift, the tummy with a tuck, the breast with a reduction. She had LASIK eye surgery, collagen lip injections, a facial peel, gum grafting, upper and lower galaxy partial dentures, and 15 Da Vinci porcelain veneers. Jenny shrunk 29 pounds from a size 14 to a slender eight. So without further ado, Katie, come on down. When Katie came down the stairs, I absolutely didn't recognize her. My jaw dropped. I was like, oh my gosh! You are my little girl! I almost didn't recognize her. She was gorgeous. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. When I saw Katie, just to see her smile was unbelievable. She was a completely different person. It was wonderful. We have become so much closer. This was one of the best experiences of my life. I would do it a million times again, a million times. Here's what Katie got. A brow lift, face lift, upper and lower eyelid lift. She lost her gobble with a neck lift. Had her tummy tuck, her left breast was reduced, and her right lifted. She also received LASIK eye surgery, a photo facial, face wrinkles removed, plus fuller lips and upper lip lengthening, leg vein treatment, upper galaxy partial dentures, and 17 Da Vinci porcelain veneers. She lost 23 pounds. You guys, get ready to see the beautiful and sizzling metal worker, Franny. Steps, Franny received a brow lift, upper and lower eyelid lift, nose job, face lift, and she was degobbled with a neck lift. She also received a breast reduction and tummy tuck, de wrinkled skin and fuller lips, facial peel, ruby laser, gum surgery, one extraction, lower dentures, and 16 porcelain veneers. Franny lost 29 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, they are no longer the gobble girls. We now dub you the glamour girls. Yeah. 